Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some breaking news straight from the geopolitical stage. The Russian leader Vladimir Putin has made a surprising announcement, offering to start peace talks with Ukraine immediately, but there's a catch. Let's dive into the details and what this means for Ukraine, Russia, and the rest of the world. Putin stated that peace talks would commence if Ukrainian troops pull back from four key regions and if Ukraine abandons its bid to join NATO. This announcement comes at a crucial time as leaders from the seven richest nations are meeting in southern Italy, focusing on the war in Ukraine. The G7 leaders have been discussing raising $50 billion from frozen Russian assets to aid Ukraine. This is a significant move, highlighting the global community's efforts to support Ukraine amidst this ongoing conflict. The war in Ukraine is being fought on three fronts, military combat, an industrial arms race, and a geopolitical battle for international support. Putin's latest proposal is clearly a strategic move in this third front, aiming to sway global opinion. Particularly in the global south, where many emerging economies are frustrated with the war's impact on the global economy. We heard from James Landale, a diplomatic correspondent, who emphasized that this proposal from Putin is more about creating a narrative than an actual step towards peace. It's an attempt to position Russia as a peace-seeking nation while placing the blame for continued conflict on Ukraine and its allies. However, NATO's response was swift and clear. NATO chief Jens Stoltenberg stated that it's Russia, not Ukraine, that needs to withdraw its forces from occupied Ukrainian territory. This underscores the West's stance that any peace talk should not involve conceding Ukrainian land to Russian control. So, what's the takeaway here? Putin's proposal is more about optics than substance. It's designed to impress certain audiences, both domestically and internationally, by portraying Russia as a peace advocate. But given the history and the current situation, trust in Putin's promises is understandably low. Meanwhile, the G7 summit has resulted in significant support for Ukraine, including a 10-year security pact between the US and Ukraine, and the aforementioned $50 billion loan funded by seized Russian assets. This coordinated effort shows a unified front from Ukraine's allies, determined to support Ukraine in the long haul. The geopolitical landscape is incredibly complex right now, and while Putin's offer might seem like a step towards peace, it's riddled with caveats that make it more of a strategic move than a genuine offer. We'll keep you updated as the situation evolves. Thanks for tuning in everyone. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on global affairs. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think there's a genuine chance for peace, or is this just more political maneuvering? Until next time, stay informed and stay safe, bye, take care, and love you.